We're introducing the Alien X250 from GearBest. It's really got a cool look to it, got great lights and some cool features. Well, this is a nice transformer it comes with and it says that it's got over 200 meter of distance, which compares to Futaba SFHSS. So how far is 630 some feet or whatever, 200 meters? Let's start walking here and count. I'm gonna go about three feet per stride, okay? So obviously you'd never be able to see the machine that far away, but you probably could fly that far FPV, so you'd have to always be careful. If uh, it gets out of range, it'll automatically land on its own. Then all you have to do is go find it. Eighty. Eighty steps to this tree. That's three times eighty is what? 240. So a little less than uh, three times that distance would be uh, 656.17 feet or 200 meters. That's about an eighth of a mile. Now that's pretty good for a little machine like this. You know, you have to be careful. I marked all my mini USB chargers. I've got a lot, and there are a lot of them are yellow, and some of the chargers are especially for the model, and some are simply for 5 volts. If you don't get it right, you might wind up doing what my son-in-law did when he plugged his battery into one of my chargers without knowing which, or nor did he know there even was a difference. This is what happened to my tiny yellow SEMA helicopter charger as a result. In case of both of these chargers, when the red light comes on, that means it's fully charged. Don't expect a lot out of the stock charger because uh, you gotta have the proper voltage and amperage in for this to work right. You might note that if any of your machines are charged via five volt USB, you might be surprised to find out what they're really putting out. My best five volt supplies are 500 milliamp max, and I'll show you that right now. 5.2 volts, zero amps. I'm gonna plug in the stock charger right now. This is for the Alien 250X, and uh, we'll see what kind of charge rate we're getting. All right, it's charging. 0.35 amps. This one doesn't do much better. When it's charging, it's only 3.91 volts, so that's no good. Okay, I've set for 800 milliamps because the battery is 780, so I can go ahead and do that. I've set it on automatic. This will put in uh, plenty, so we'll go ahead and start this now. It's checking the battery and it says it's at 3.74 volts right now. Okay, and it's charging at 100 milliamps. Um, when it decides that it is 100 milliamps isn't enough, it's going to kick it up to the uh, full amount that I put in there, probably around 7 Ajax itself. It's gone into zero right now. It says, okay, I can go ahead and crank it up. So you check the voltage and it cranks it back up. So now it's charging at 0.8, that's 800 milliamps. A much faster and better way to charge this battery. It's still charging at 200 uh, milliamps, and but the voltage now of the battery is 420, so it's getting close to the beginning and has been charging for 50.44 minutes. Um, this is about three times faster than the little charger, so the stock charger is gonna take you about three times longer than that. And I'm not done yet. Now see it's dropping down to 100, so it's getting ready to shut off.
Uh, red lights in the back as they should be, but because of that, I'm gonna take the red propellers and I'm gonna put them in the back. And uh, remember, to do that, you have to take this one and put it over here, and then this one and put it over here. And I'm gonna switch that, then it makes more sense to me. Wow, that's pretty good. Not, not bad, not a lot of lag. It's good. Let's try it. All right, FPV in the snow. Can't even tell where the ground is. Okay, this thing's pretty cool. You getting in a blizzard. Of all the FPV drones I've tested, I find this one has the best 5.8 gigahertz video link. There's not that much lag, it really flies really well, and it only costs $69.99 from GearBest.com. So thanks a lot for watching and subscribing, and I'm going to do more with this drone when I get some good weather. In the meantime, it's the fireplace.